So, I have this floor tom shell, and all this hardware, and this crazy drum rap by Wallopus Drum Raps. I think it's time to make a snare drum. This drum is going to be 16 by 8, so I set the fence on my table saw to 8 inches and cut the shell. And that's how you cut a drum in half. Instead of messing with lug layout, I just extended the center line of the existing lug holes to the other end of the drum. So there's something kind of strange about this drum. Right now, I'm measuring the whole pattern to lay out on this other side. So this is the factory edge with the factory bearing edge, so I haven't touched this side at all. So if I measure the distance between the bearing edge and where this hole starts, I get one and a half inches. But then when I go over to this next lug, I get one and five eighths. So, Pearl, I don't know what's up with this, but it's kind of messed up. I decided to use the smaller measurement because it was just that one lug that was different for some reason. So I set my combination square to the distance from the bearing edge to the center of the hole, and I transferred those marks to the other end. And then I marked them with a center punch so my drill bit won't wander. And then I just drill the holes. So I've said this before, but I think it's worth saying again. I have a very small drill press, and with it set up in its regular configuration, there's no way I could fit the shell underneath it because the base gets in the way. So to fix that problem, I just flip the base around, so now it's hanging off the side of my table, and I can fit a big drum shell underneath it. So now I'm routing the bearing edge, and a lot of people ask me how I figure out that profile, but to be honest, usually what I do is just take an existing drum and match that. So this drum has a pretty standard bearing edge, it has a slight roundover on the outside, and then a 45 degree chamfer on the inside. And then I gave the bearing edges a quick sanding, and you might have noticed that I didn't drill the holes for the throw off or the butt plate. And that's because I wanted to plug the air vent hole first. So I didn't have any dowel stock, and I didn't feel like going out and buying any. So I took an old drumstick, I put it in my drill, and I sanded it on the disc sander until it was the right diameter, and then plugged the hole. And then I laid out the hole pattern for the butt plate. So then I tried to lay out the hole pattern for the throw off, but it's kind of confusing because it's a triangle. So to make my life easier, I found some screws that fit the throw off and then I cut them down and sharpened them and basically made a set of transfer screws. So then I laid out where I wanted the throw off to go and you'll notice that it's right over that plug. So because of the points on the screws, I just need to press down on the throw off and I'll transfer the whole pattern onto the shell. And then I can drill all the holes. And then while I was at it, I cut the snare beds, and I like to do this by hand, so I just use a file and sandpaper. Alright, so now the wrap. This thing looks absolutely crazy. This wrap is from wallapist.com. They were kind enough to send me this wrap for this project. So if you need a wrap, definitely check out their website. They have a huge selection, they have tons of stuff. And if you can't find what you're looking for, they can probably make it for you. This wrap is a custom wrap. I sent them a small little image just for reference. And then the next day I got the mock-up image and this thing looks absolutely ridiculous. So if you're looking for a wrap or a custom wrap or want the same exact wrap that I have, definitely go to wallpiss.com and be sure to tell them I sent you. Before I can put the wrap on the drum, I need to trim it just a little bit. So I started by squaring up the ends. So I flipped the wrap over and marked the ends with a framing square. Really I didn't need to mark them because I ended up using the square itself as a guide to cut it. So I did that on both sides and also the wrap is a little bit too deep right now. So the drum is 8 inches deep and I want there to be an 8th inch reveal on both ends where the bearing edges are. 
So that means I need to cut the wrap to seven and three quarter inches. So I use my combination score to give me some reference lines. Then I use a straight edge and a razor blade to cut it. I don't know why, but that was so stressful. So to adhere the wrap, I'm using carpet tape, which is basically just a high strength double sided tape. And this tape is a little bit wide, so I gave myself some reference lines, then apply the tape, and then cut off the excess. And now it's time to put the wrap on the actual drum. So I started by lining up one end of the wrap, so when the other end wraps around, the seam will land right where the lugs are. So I held the first end down with some spring clamps, and then I wrapped the wrap around the drum, and I made sure that the reveal was even on both of the bearing edges, and I just did that by eye, there's really no need to measure. So once everything was straight and lined up how I wanted it, I held the other end down with spring clamps. And where the two ends meet, you can see that along the edge of the wrap that they line up perfectly. I then ran my thumbs along the drum to make sure that there was no, you know, air pockets in the wrap and everything was nice and tight. And then it's just a matter of applying the tape. And I thought that last part was stressful. So now that the wrap is on the drum, I just need to install the hardware, but before I do that, I need to cut the holes in the wrap where the, the mounting holes are. And I found that the easiest way to do this was to drill through the inside. So I would drill one row of lugs and then install them. So that way, when I move to the next row, just in case the wrap shifted a little bit, it'll still line up. So instead of buying 16 inch snare hoops, I just bought these cheap regular hoops. So you can see I have it marked out where I need to cut out. And same thing on the other side. Well, you can't really see because the throw off's in the way, but they're there. So to cut this, I'm using an angle grinder and I'm just using it to get the cut started because there's really no other way to do it with like a saw. So I would cut the bottom part of the hoop and then the top part of the hoop. And I did the same thing on the other side. And then to finish the cut, I'm using a hacksaw blade just because you have way more control with it. And it's kind of goofy and awkward to use it without the frame, but it works. And then to break that rectangle free, I'm just going to use a drill and drill on each end. I'm actually going to wait to drill all the way through so that way I can drill this side. There'll still be support over here. It's not going to bend back. So when I drill through, you can see that it kind of bent back. So I'm just going to take this piece off and then do the same thing on the other side, clean it up with a file and sandpaper. I'm having deja vu. I did the exact same thing for one of my first real project videos right over here on actually this exact vice. So here it is on the drum after some filing and some sanding. I also hit it real quick with the buffing wheel. You can tell it's not really perfect, but for what I'm doing, it'll be fine. So I'm getting ready to put this drum together, but in the beginning of the video, you saw that I laid out these floor tom legs, and I was going to use these mounts to, you know, mount the drum to hold it up, uh, but they're a little bit too short, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs of floor tom legs, or I guess sets, I should say, not pairs. And they are all too short, and they do make longer ones, but I don't feel like buying any, so I think I'm just going to modify the snare stand. And now I have a snare stand that fits a 16 inch drum. 
So let's put this thing together. I totally messed up. The rim is hitting the throw off. And that's just me not thinking through. I looked at the snare that this throw off goes to and I saw that it was mounted pretty low because of this strap. So I did the same thing and mounted it pretty low, but after looking at the picture again, I realized that it has these different rims. So now I just need to cut off this portion of the rim. Moment of truth. We're good. So here is the completed drum, and this thing looks absolutely insane, and I love the way that it looks. And before you go commenting saying that I forgot to install the air vent, you can see it right here. So for the batter side head, I'm using a Remo Power Stroke 4 coated or a P4 coated. I guess that's what they're calling it now. But out of all the choices they had at the store, I figured that this one would be the best for this drum. And I couldn't find a 16 inch snare side head in store, so I ordered one online, but it hasn't came in yet. So for right now, I'm using a no name cheap head that came off of that drum set that I bought for $40. It's kind of thick, but I got it tuned pretty good, but still I think a thinner resonant side head will sound better. So I know you're dying to hear this thing, so let's play it. This thing is crazy awesome and you will definitely be seeing me use it in future videos. 
I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of tough to tune, so that's why I used the wallet and the muffling gel on it. And I think it's just because of the thick snare side head, so as soon as that other one comes in, I'll definitely put it on and hopefully that'll help. Also, if you want to download the track that I played to, I'll have a link down below where you can get it. I'll have the track by itself as well as the track with a click throughout the solo section. So if you want to play to it, make a video or whatever, feel free to do that. Feel free to tag me also. But yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And for all you diehard fans out there that want to support what I do, I have a Patreon page you can check out. I also sell stickers. Links down below. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.